All right, everyone. Hello and welcome back. I'm Nerbomatic, and in this video today, we are going to be playing through the single-player missions available in Evil Dead the game. Starting with the first one here, uh, if you love someone, set them free with a chainsaw. So, without further ado, let's jump right into that. All right, so here we are at the start of the mission. Um, we are here in Nobi Cabin, and we got a little bit of some extra kind of tutorial like inf info here about uh, using campfires and such to reduce your fear. Just gonna run around and yeah, pick I up the ammo and stuff that's life. available in here. From personal experience. So we are gonna need these resources to get through this mission. All right, now let's uh, move on to our first objectives over here at Bronson Cave. I think we're going to kind of follow this north-northwest path here. We'll have to fight some normal enemies along the way. Are you trying to scare me? Do you know the things that I've seen? I saw a second one. I'm going to try to be a little bit sparing with our ammo here. We do want to... No, that was rude. We do want to have plenty available for the elites that will... No doubt be fighting against. That was a tricky little move. Can you kick watch back one by Man. one if I have? You guys are pretty good at dodging this mission for some reason. It's quite annoying. Alright, come on. Yeah. To go. <laughs> I feel like those are uh, much more annoying than usual for some reason. But it's all good. We're here to kill Deadites. That's definitely the game, right? Where'd you come from? Got some balance bar back for some reason there. Okay. Being particularly annoyingly hard to execute for some reason. Alright. Another one down. Ah, my fear is getting really high. I think there might be kind of a random distribution of deadites in these missions. seem to be pretty good at throwing them in behind you while you're fighting another one. Which isn't so much a complaint, but... Alright. Yeah, I had to, like, feel like I've had to kill way more deadites than I had before. And I have no idea why that melee attack just went off into the god knows where. You're looking at a guy with nothing. All right. A bit of uh, some decent progress there. That was messed up, tree. I'm gonna go. It's one of those annoying things. I can see that there's a fire nearby that I want to use. Okay. Oh, wow. So if your fear gets too high, you just lose. Great. Well, now we know what that's about. All right, we will see you again outside of Bronson Cave. All right, here we are back at Bronson Cave again. This time our fear is well under control. I have no idea why it was so ridiculously high that time. No idea where this guy came from. Doesn't matter though. It's dealt with. Personal experience. Alright. 
Should have our big bad elite fight. Wow, that was interesting. Reloading. Okay, that was annoying. I think this is just some ammo here. Oh, and an amulet and a shemps. Okay, so very random. Shemps, man. Nothing comes. Or at least uh, somewhat random distribution of things. All right, we've got Linda's necklace. Finding the necklace only reminds you of your sweet Linda's face and the horrible things the demon made it say. Can't leave her like this, buried alone. Find a shovel. It's the only way. Okay. Now we got to go find a shovel. And our map is telling us there's one over there in Circus Cage. I'm going to hit the uh, Lucky Valley Lodge here, because I'm pretty sure there's a couple decent things there. So we might skip to that, because it's a little bit of a walk. Alright, so here we are on the approach to Lucky Valley Lodge. And I know there's a couple... Uh, there's at least a couple things here. Should be anyhow. You're looking at a guy. I mean, maybe it's just a shemps. You're another one. There you are. There we go. It's a dead eye done and dealt with. I don't think there's anything around the back here, but we'll take a look. Okay. Yep. Alright, but certainly inside here, yeah. Okay, we got a Shemps here. Check down the basement real quick. Is there really nothing? Just that Shemps that was up there. Okay. Alright, and we'll go check the other uh, building here in Lucky Valley Lodge. Take the high road. Not generally a great idea because of the way that the uh, combat physics work. Trying to hit an enemy that's below you with melee attack is a nightmare. And this was a bit of a waste. Just another Shemps. Okay, well, whatever. Let's move on to the cages. Cursed ground. If the otherworldly symbols didn't give it away, the numerous scares should. You're on unholy ground. Right. So I think there's uh, going to be quite a few portal traps here. Like, I can see a little bit of a shimmer in this pathway. I don't know if you'll be able to see because of YouTube's compression, but there's a little, yep, a little shimmer in the air indicating a portal trap there. And here is our shovel. Use the shovel to dig up Linda's head. Okay. Go to Linda's grave and dig up her head. Okay, easy enough. All full on shemps. An amulet. Should pop the one I have. And, okay, there is a uh, chainsaw upgrade here, and I can see there are two portal traps right next to it. And the trap tree. Okay. I feel like there's another one that's going to come from something. doesn't get any groovier than this. Definitely hearing one. Where the hell are they? Alright, whatever. And there's another portal trap here on this bridge. Hey, you. Trying to circle around me? Alright, having this uh, upgraded chainsaw is definitely going to help make things a little easier. Because now I can uh, get a finishing blow on them after two hits instead of after three. Very helpful. Uh, hello. God, where are you guys coming from? Nice cheeky little dodge there. Back to hell for you, shit Yep, exactly what Ash said. 
All right, and we will move on. So here we're going to find Linda's grave. Just on the other side of the demonic treehouse. And I will follow the path, and I will light the fire, because apparently I really need it. Send you dickwads back one by one if I have to. Because now I know if your fear gets too high, you get possessed and you lose That's the mission. Right, suckers. I created light. Just something I did not know before. It never happened to me in the few times I played this. Okay. Hi there. Are you trying to scare me? Do you know the things that I've seen? Alright, pretty easy finisher there. It's nice when your finisher doesn't lock the camera. Oh. Come on. Reloading. Alright. That's all the dead eyes I'm hearing in the area. I assume there's another one here somewhere. Yeah. Stocking up on long gun ammo fairly well. Alright, uh, so we should be able to see Linda's grave in a moment here. Yep, there's a little cross. It's kind of hard to make out with the weather effects, but it is here. Take Linda's head to the workshed and finish this thing once and for all, okay? We will do that. Oh, but first, this. Definitely getting those uh, two-hit finishers is... Speed things along quite nicely. Okay. Really annoying when they get that dodge because it slows things down. Like, I cannot reload, there's just not enough time. Okay. Dodge too early there. You're looking at a guy with nothing left to lose. Got Linda's head, but finishing the job is going to be a battle. Better grab what supplies and protection you can from Pain Manor before heading to the workshed. Pretty sure this is just to kind of pad out the mission a little bit. You are cold. I mean, there are a couple upgrades that we'll get from coming down here to Pain Man, but... Alright, um... So experience has taught me that there's a couple elites guarding these... ...the other uh, entryways. Or which would be your exit, if you just went straight that way. Like, see, we've got this guy here. That was a terrible shot. Damage almost seems very random sometimes. But I'm assuming that's mostly just uh, poor marksmanship on my part. Give the game the benefit of the doubt. Okay, there's another one down. And there's another elite over here, I believe. I don't know if these guys rush into the building to try to impede your progress. Come on. Alright. There's definitely going to be at least one or two more deadites inside here. Anything to pick up here? Really look like it. This old place is chock full of helpful Please items. Stock up and set out for the work shed when you're ready, okay? And there are a couple decent upgrades 
upstairs. Ah, it's more long than ammo than I thought. Actually. You are old, slow, and pathetic. Old, slow, and pathetic. Ah, that's kind of harsh. Yeah, this Linda's head is definitely going to keep taunting you the rest of the time that you're in the mission. Legendary uh, double barrel. Or long gun Ash? ammo. And Ash, honey. I'm better now. Why oh, she's all better. Me? You left me here, Ash. And a legendary uh, chainsaw. Very nice. Sweet, juicy upgrade. All right, and... Uh, Time to go to sleep. Check here real quick. Nothing, nothing. All right. And now we're just going to head up to uh, Nobi Cabin. This is a bit of a walking simulator, so I'll probably just see you when we get there. All right, here we are at Nobi Cabin. Let's get ready for the big fight. It's definitely going to be a thing that happens here. Where are you? There you are. Ow. Okay. Can we get some space? That was annoying. Alright, anyway. That is gonna be it, I'm pretty sure. We just gotta do the thing here. Alright, that is mission done. So, yeah, I definitely recommend doing these if you're new. The challenge is kind of weird. Sometimes they're really frustratingly annoying, and other times it's just... And just walk right through it. I don't really know what to make of it. So yeah, there's mission one done. Um, and we will be back shortly with uh, mission two, party down. So we'll see you then. If this is the kind of thing you're interested in. All right, y'all. Take care. Bye.